everyone welcome back to my channel um so today i have um some special um things from she modern um i'm sure you've probably seen um there's been a few channels that have received um the sheer pattern um pigments already i know manisha has nails of interest pumpkins nail station um sassy family they're just to name a few i'm sure and then patty's polished corner of course um and um yeah but you know i want to play they look so fabulous so these are her brand new um sheer pigments um and um i just love all the pigments um, I've got quite a few, like I just did um, my neon stripes with spider gel. I'll link it down below so you can uh, check it out. I took it off last night, but um, um, yeah, so pigments, there, there's so many cool ideas to do with them. I guess I should have took these all out of the package before um, I drop, you know, sorry for the noise, but um, there we go. So I received, there's 14 in, in the set and let's just quickly go through them. I'm sure you've seen them all, but um, this is sheer black and of course sheer white and she's got a sheer gray and then the sheer brown and there's the brown. And now into the bright fun colors, sheer red and sheer blue green. Look at that. This one is sheer green, sheer sky blue, sheer purple lilac. Sheer Blue Navy and Sheer Yellow, Sheer Orange, Sheer Pink Rose, and lastly, Sheer Pink Purple. So aren't they gorgeous? Now they're really bright and vibrant in, in the package. So, um, it's kind of surprising that they're going to go sheer, to be honest, but, um, so I received those and then also, um, when you place an order for any pack of pigments, you always get, um, she usually sends you a random foil art, um, but this one is the one I grabbed with, um, my set and it's, uh, the cause ribbons and I let, I got them in hollow. Um, just because I figure this way I can color them in and um, so there they are so they come in the three different sizes the small medium and the large and this way I can color them in for whatever design I want to do because there's usually um, I know there's cause ribbons for just about everything so you know, it'd be nice to be able to participate in some of the nail art, so I grabbed those. I'm just going to put those aside at the moment because I'm not going to play with those today. So, I just want to swatch all of these just because, um, yeah, because I want to. I want to see, I want to see all the colors and um, see how they work. Now, um, let's start off with the white. Um, I think it goes transparent, so I just want to, I'm going to try it just on here a little bit. Now they do, the, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but they have the, the child proof or the Suzanne proof lids if you want, <laughs> and then you can just tap them out. Um, this way your powders don't get everywhere. You don't, you know, make a mess. 
sometimes they'll come out like if they get clogged or whatever just kind of tap them on your desk and that usually unclogs them you know because they do are traveling all over you know so let's see just got a little brush so I don't know how well I just had to be a little forceful because they've traveled to me here in Canada so that's probably why so oh I forgot to mention that on my nail tip I actually have um, so I've got a black and this one is my models one um, and it's a cocoa black so that's that one and then I've also put a glue gel which uh, from she modern and it's a dry coloring glitter and pigment so so yeah so it does go on so it just you can barely see it let's try another color so let's try maybe the yellow because the yellow should show up whoops I got pigment on my desk so let me salvage this I don't want to waste any of this little pigment so that's it over black so it is very sheer cool well, let's see what it looks like if we top coat it, it might disappear yeah over the black it just kind of totally disappears <laughs> oh well that's good to know just gonna wipe off I'm just going to put this one aside. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of going to fast forward through this next little part. Um, so that way you're not super bored. I just want to, I've got, um, this is white. And which one did I use? I used um, Bio Seaweed Gel and this is 274 Frosting. So I've done these on my nail tips and then I applied the glue gel. So I'm just going to kind of swatch them all and um, yeah, and then maybe we'll do a little design at the end. But I just wanted to kind of tell you what I'm going to do and then I'm going to fast forward through this part just so it's not super long. And um, I just got my little, I think it's a gradient brush. And then off camera, I have a piece of paper towel so I can wipe it on. So, yep. Okay. So, stay tuned.
so playing with them all. Um, <laughs> you can tell where I totally missed um, putting the glue gel. Glue gel? Is that what it called? Yeah, glue gel. Um, but they're all really pretty. I really love um, how you can do gradients with these. And um, these would look awesome with some stamping over top or even um, doing some water decals over top. Um, so I'm just going to top coat them and see how they go. Um, and then I will come right back one moment. Okay, so these are them top coated. Um, the powder stuck really well. I just did a little brush off. Um, but uh, I think this nail and this one are like my favorite. Even these ones, like the colors are just, I know they're sheer, but over the white, they look amazing. So I'm going to definitely be uh, sporting some of these nails. So stay tuned for some nail art. I do want to try one other thing. Um, I've got another black nail that um, I had. I was watching um, Pumpkin Snail Station and um, she was playing with her stencils. And um, so I want to see... So She Modern also has all these stencils. So no, this one is the number one, and then two, three, four, and then five. I've already played with the three because I did this one because um, it reminded me of fish scales, and I really loved it. Um, but I want to try something a little different. Maybe I'll try number five. I haven't used, like I said, I haven't really used them. And I figured I need to start using all my She Modern supplies. Right. So let me get this out. So I've already blacked, put black on my um, nail tip and um, I've already got some glue gel on there. So just gonna pull one of these off and um, let's try this guy. So I'm just gonna put it down. And I just want to make sure it fully, fully sticks and it's everywhere. want it to lay flat. So I'm going to take some of my sheer white and I just want to get my palette. And I'm going to tap on some white. Because this will go translucent after. Just kind of dabbing it on to all the areas. And make sure that it's fully coated. Okay, so now I'm going to just remove the stencil. And these are. Uh, reusable so I'll just wipe it or like I'll wash it off you can also use alcohol um, um, just nailed it just suggested don't use um, a lint roller on it um, you can but after a while it'll stretch it out so you don't want to wreck your stencil so okay so I don't know if you can see that so now um, what I want to do is I'm going to grab one of, I have a little basket of my goodies. I'm going to grab a, maybe a hollow powder. Let's try a hollow gold. It'll look pretty in there. Maybe a hollow red. So, 
I don't know. I'm just playing. I wanted to try it, so. so because all the other areas... Show up in the other areas. So let's do let's do some red on here too. Because the red should show up as well. see that? <laughs> My camera's going nuts. It's so sparkly. Okay, so let me just top coat this. What I'll do is grab my little fan brush. We should, should have all the excess off. Let's top coat this baby. Oh, where'd my top coat go? So there's so many different Options that you can do with um, She Modern products. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, let me top or cure this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've top coated it and it looks so cool. I don't know if you can actually. My camera's going nuts, so maybe when I'll take a picture and see. There, it's kind of picking up the pattern. I'm sure you could probably do it opposite as well. So, like, um, instead of doing the sheer first, do your colors first and then do the sheer after. That would probably pop as well. But, um, yeah, I just had to kind of try it. Um, so, I guess it's a different idea than using the, the binding gel or the binding powder. But um, yeah, I'm like totally digging these new sheer colors. Like they're so pretty. Um, I do love all the um, She Modern products. Um, they're so fun to use, so versatile. So stay tuned. Um, as you can tell, I have bare nails. So I'm gonna be, um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing some nail art. Um, and uh, yeah, it's... Uh, I'm so excited. So um, big thank you, thank you, thank you to She Modern uh, for sending these um, powders out to me to play. Um, they're just, the colors are just gorgeous. Like, and oops, 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 oops. Um, it's just, it's surprising how vibrant they are and then they're sheer, but you can still see them. So they are very cool. I'm, I'm totally loving these. So anyway, um, I don't want to babble too much, so I hope you are having a great day, and um, bye for now. Bye!